Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. My name is Simone Bailey Campbell. And in case you are not familiar with who I am, I am a visual artist, a furniture designer, and yes, a candle maker. And welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining this journey with me. And just so you know that this channel is a space where I explore and document all my artistic, all my artistic shenanigans. So enjoy. The project I'm currently working on is called The Woman I Love and it's a portrait series comprising of 31 women that I personally know and love. So just to let you know what the parameters of this project was, I take a picture or they give me a picture and I select, um, I ask them to give me a word whether it describes their personality how they're feeling it really doesn't matter and then i and then i use that word to interpret and create the portrait this lovely lady that you're looking at is carol and her word is intuitive and um Carol, I call or we call each other. She's my sister friend mother, <laughs> which says everything. Before I tell you why I love her so much, I always like to back up a little bit. And for some reason, I want to always tell people how I, how I met her. Um, First, I have to thank my husband for that. He has introduced me to all kind of people that have become my really great friend. So, a quick story. Um, Carol uh, and her friend used to own a, a store called Celebrity Recycle. It was a um, consignment store. And uh, one morning, my husband was passing. I sent him to get, <laughs> to buy something, and he was passing it. And we make, you know, I am, we are candle makers. And he thought, oh, maybe he could um, put our candles in there. And so he went in and spoke to them. And of course, they didn't really take him serious. And then he has a thing where he comes home and say, I have to come, I have to drop what I'm doing and come right now. So I dropped what I did, flung on some clothes, and went to meet the ladies. And that sparked a beautiful friendship. So that's how we met. And our friendship just kind of developed. Um, Carol is a beautiful, spiritual person. She's an artist. She's a creative. Um, she's a creative in every sense of the word. She's got great style. She's got great eye about style. She's a stylist. And she is one of the most interesting persons I've met because she's got stories to tell you for days. I wish she would write a book. It would be very interesting and kind of steamy. <laughs> <laughs> as they say if these walls could talk oh my goodness and so we used to talk about art she's a wonderful artist and she was an art teacher and she's had her own boutiques and she makes jewelry oh and we would talk about art and food and life and I love talking about art and we would spend hours talking and dreaming and planning about art and then we discuss all kind of spiritual stuff and she's always talking about the third eye her third eye oh we could talk for hours on end 
Oh, that was so juicy and so wonderful. And we'd go to thrift stores and we'd go to the beach and oh, go to vintage stores. Oh, go to um, go and buy clothes. We'd go shopping together. Oh, wow. It's always interesting with her. Very interesting. <laughs> I'm just thinking. I love this woman. Oh, I love this woman. She is beyond interesting. So, as you see her there, that is who she is. Okay, at first, I had intuitively, I just had to put the third eye there. And initially, I tried the third eye without the sunglasses, but uh-uh. It didn't want, it had to be part, it had to have the sunglasses also. You know, you can't just leave out the third eye. It's got to be in style. And so with that blonde wig, okay, so on a side note, you know, this was one of the easiest, not easiest, this whole portrait just flowed. It just flowed. It didn't take me long to do. It just flowed. So that's why I wanted to show you almost the entirety of the, the portrait. It just flowed. I guess apart from its carol, it must flow. I don't know, maybe it's my confidence about doing these portraits are going. I'm not overthinking it. I am allowing it. And so it was just a uh, experience. And I have even um, not, I'm not concerned that the shadows aren't perfect. You know, the hair is supposed to be, the wig is supposed to be metallic and that didn't come through. And I didn't care. I just wanted you to catch the essence of who she is. And this to me is so her. And I, all I wanted to do was to honor her and capture the essence of who she is. So my sister, mother, friend, I love you. And I hope that you feel my love and my appreciation for you. So when I start, when I was just about to start the portrait, I was drinking a cup of coffee, black coffee, and I just decided to use the coffee for her skin tone. So that's what her skin tone is. In the, the camera kind of pick it up a little bit lighter, but it's, sli it's slightly darker. It's a little slightly, the shade is a sli slightly darker shade. But I use the coffee and then the rest is acrylic and a little gouache in it. So that's what that is. I love doing series, series because I love to see the evolution of the work as the, you know, as the series grows. And um, there is something that happened when I was doing this one. And I'm happy that it happened with Carol. What happened was just I let go even more and allowed it and the flow was so wonderful so that's what happened with this one the others there was a struggle with some of them to actually interpret because they each want to say something you know I start with the concept 
but somehow the portrait themselves take over and um, this one was a joy.